Coming up on the Children's Hour, it's the fourth and final episode of Communication Nation, our series exploring how we communicate through media, languages, and community building. Today, we're focusing on playing games to help us practice working together for a common goal. Our guest is Doug Montoya, and he's going to be leading the kids crew through an improvisation workshop to make our team stronger. We're also going to explore how games have been used for thousands of years here in the Americas to bring communities together. This series comes with learning guides and activities to learn even more. Together we can, coming up on the Children's Hour. The Children's Hour is produced by the Children's Hour Incorporated. We're a New Mexico-based nonprofit organization working with children to make the best in high-quality kids' public radio. You can learn a lot more about us at childrenshour.org. It's time for the Children's Hour, Kids Public Radio. How do you fix a broken pizza? I don't don't know. know. With tomato paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the children's hour. Kids on the radio. A luz do sol inventa um novo dia Este calor aquece minha alma Compartilhar amigos e segredos Amar e abraçar sem medo Viver o tempo bem feliz aqui sempre Num sentimento infinito Ver alegria ao meu redor, sorrir, respirar e semear amor. Yeah, yeah. Aqui dunia o perversado pareche, aqui dunia o doloreche, gente isso cai, te fora que supareche. Jiban maliu que maleche, mari, hatma careche, mahatma gandhi, mari, atma ma fareche, like. Shanti, Nati, Kashmir, my musty tie Must be fighting like husky tie And they still don't know where they're going Or where they're flowing Rivers like Ganges, they all demanding We all know it Where we come from like addresses Mother's wombs and hospital beds And God's blessings Lo siento que nuestra vida siempre cambia la muerte Y todas las razas diferentes son Solamente gente es evidente Que yo entiendo y tú me entiendes A luz do sol invento un nuevo día Este calor que aquece mi alma Compartilhar amigos e segredos Amar e abraçar sem medo Viver o tempo bem feliz aqui sempre Num sentimento infinito Ver alegria ao meu redor Sorrir, respirar E semear amor yep. Yeah, we keep on worrying about the next hour that we never give a chance to the beauty that surrounds us. The sounds are a blessing that we should let us drown us, but we keep on worrying and we keep on frowning. Woo, gonna change it together today. Together we pray. Together weather shine or rain from Angola to Spain, Portugal, Israel, Himalayas. Let the light shine bright, 'cause together we stay together today. I ain't got no time to waste. Hey, hey. I'm here with my family. Hey, hey. Mane to abe abe bando ne kanke abe to hamen bata saath is Amar e abraçar sem medo. 
ain't got no time to waste, eh, eh. I'm here with my family, eh, eh. Manito abe abe bando ne kanke. Abe to hame bata saath is re suku. Char su di music hai suku. Hame check su di moksh ma jai suku. Hale ebi the prem to lay suku. Ne kai mathe saath is re suku. That's Nemo right here on the Children's Hour. I'm Katie Stone, and I'm here at the Outpost Performance Space with a whole lot of great kids and on Zoom. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. And who's with us today? Hello, it's Amadeus. Hi, it's Luminata. Hi, it's Kybia. Hi, it's Nina. Hi, it's Amaya. Hi, it's Lucas D. Hi, it's Daniel. Well, thank you all so much for being here out there in listener land and here in the outpost and on Zoom. Today, we are in episode four of our four-part series, Communication Nation. It's a series that explores various forms of communication through media, languages, and community building. Today's episode is going to focus on team building. If you think about it, the goal of communication is always to build community around us. We are much stronger as we communicate and work together. And there are simple ways we can build trust in our communities and strengthen them by playing games. There are so many games I'm sure we all love, from team sports to board games to video games. On today's show, we're going to talk about games that require cooperation among us. That is what helps us build community and friendships. For more information on this and the entire series called Communication Nation, visit childrenshour.org. And there you're going to find not only all the parts of this series, but lots of curriculum and activities so that these shows can be used in the classroom or just to further learning wherever you are. This is Communication Nation, Episode 4. Together we can. This is Wookie Foot right here on the Children's Hour. Sing your prayer Look around, we're all right here It just proves we're not all there We may not have it all together But together we can have it all We may not have it all together But together we can have it all
Brother them, reach out, reach out for all your sisters. Rest my partner, they might talk to all heathen, pagan, roots men, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, and Jewish men. And all the women, I dip under the mic, but not tell them again. Rasta man, bring enough blessing. We may have it together, man, but together we can have it. To live a life with purpose So don't get trapped inside your safety net Fill your well and light your flame But go on seeking service Life without a cause is life without effect So drop your bags and drop your fears Lift your voice and voice your cheers Hoist your mug and give some hugs Shout your mantra, sing your prayers Look around, we're all right here This is Communication Nation, Episode 4, Together We Can, Part 1, The Art of Improv. When people communicate, there's a natural back and forth. You say something, then I say something, and together we make a conversation. But what if that process was a game? That's how we met Doug Montoya. He's a comedian, actor, educator, and the co-founder of The Box ABQ a theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico. His specialty is a form of comedy called improv or improvisation. It's a really fun art form that basically you're just creating a scene, spur of the moment, based on different suggestions that might happen. There are two types of improv. One of them is short form improv. That's where you play little short games. They'll get what we call the prompt or an ask, and then they'll just do a quick little set And then there's also long-form improv. That'll take just a suggestion at the beginning, and then they'll build the entire show based on that suggestion. People take improv classes for all kinds of reasons. To have fun, to meet friends, to exercise their minds, and even for their careers. Thinking on your feet is an important skill in communication. It was time for us to put our thinking caps on, so we decided to warm up with a little bit of word association. So if we thought of the phrase Mickey Mouse... You might say... Disney. So if we were to go further, so she said Disney, and what does that make you think of? Big Shark. Inside Out. Colors. Then I might just immediately say red. So we went from Mickey Mouse, and it got all the way back to red, but all of those words had some sort of relationship to each other. What we're doing is we're practicing the rules of improv. There are like four like really important rules. The number one rule of improv is... Yes, and. That is the cliche improv rule. Basically what that means is that when we're doing improv, we're all going to agree and we're not going to be negative. So we're always going to say yes to whatever's going on in that scene. If we were in a scene and I I were to say, hey, would you look at those big, beautiful balloons in the sky? We wouldn't want to have somebody say, well, those aren't balloons. Those are UFOs or I can't see balloons. You want to agree to what's going on there. Doug taught us another rule. Always be an expert at what you're talking about, even though you're just pretending. You're not going to be like, well, I don't know how to fly a rocket ship because I've never flown a rocket ship. If they say, oh, oh, I want to see a scene with astronauts in it. Well, 
I'm going to be a rocket scientist at that point, right? I'm going to flip switches. I'm going to turn dials. I'm going to say, turn on the flux capacitor because that's in every spaceship, right? And one of those things is like being an expert and we're all just enjoying ourselves. The audience becomes like an extension of you when you're doing improvisation. They're not rocket scientists either, but they sure are having fun watching you pretend to be a rocket scientist. It was time to play our first improv game together. Listeners, you can play along with us. Our first game is called Ad Executive. In real life, ad executives help make advertisements for products on TV, radio, and the internet. Are you ready? Let's play Ad Executive. Your job is going to be very enthusiastic about a product. And you are going to agree with each other. You guys are going to support everybody's idea. First, the crew designed their product. Let's create an oven that could cook things really fast. And then you might say, yes, and... It comes in many different colors. Yes, and there's seven parts of it. And it prevents cheesecake cracks. Those cheese crate cracks are very important to keep a preventable as much as you can. You know how hard it is to cook, but with this oven, it'll be easier than ever before because... It can, like, not just cook things, but it can also, like, like you can, like, throw things into it, and it, it'll just, like, make it if you hit a button. Like, if you hit pancakes, it'll just make it. Yes, and it's very easy for dogs to use. Okay, so, guys, I want you to create an ad campaign for this product. The crew named the gadget the Switzer Doodle. Snitzer Doodle, it's so fast, it'll cook your food in a blast. (laughs) Snitzer Doodle, you're so fast, it'll cook the food in a blast. And it comes in multiple colors. (laughs) And only has seven parts. We also designed a high-tech cell phone and a cafe for dogs. Doggy Doodle serves your food. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Very good. I love it. Doug had one more idea up his sleeve, and the results were kind of surprising. That's in our next segment of Communication Nation. Play with me, run with me. Have a little fun with me. Get the holes and make mud with me. Show me the scabs on both your knees. Climb on me, tickle me, play with me, run with me, dance with me, sing with me. Have a little fun with me. Stare at each other till we start laughing. Splash me in the deep blue sea Pick some plums off the old palm tree Come dance with me, sing with me Deep guy, all day What do you want to do with me? Just you and me There's no one else I would rather
have a little fun with me That's Glenn Phillips right here on the Children's Hour with Have a Little Fun With Me, and I hope you're having fun. I'm Katie Stone, and we're in Communication Nation Episode 4, Together We Can. You're listening to the Children's Hour, Kids Public Radio. We'll be right back. The Children's Hour is produced by the Children's Hour Incorporated. You can learn more about us and support our work at childrenshour.org. New Mexico Department of Cultural Affairs supports the Children's Hour. Museum Hill in Santa Fe, New Mexico is where arts, culture, and nature converge. Plan your visit at museumhill.net. Electric Playhouse supports the Children's Hour. Now open in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the forum shops at Caesars Palace. Learn more at electricplayhouse.com. Welcome back to the Children's Hour. This is Tito Puente. When I woke up on Saturday morning, I didn't want to open my eyes. I didn't want to leave my pillow. I didn't need to see a sunny sky. But I woke up on Saturday morning and dragged a comb across my back. And when I looked up at the ceiling, I saw my life go by in every crack. So I woke up.
I'll take you with Pon tus ilusiones a un lado y te encontrarás This is Communication Nation Episode 4 Together We Can Part 2 Staying Connected When we communicate, conversations often have unspoken rules. We don't interrupt each other, or we make sure to listen to what the other person is saying. In improvisation, there are often firm rules. Doug taught us to always respond beginning with the words, yes and, to your partner in order to keep the game going. There are no wrong answers. If I was to say candy, Tell me all the types of candies that you know. All of them. <laughs> Just go, and then I'll stop you. Sweethearts, lollipops, Tootsie Rolls, Skittles, candy corn, Snickers. What types of cereal? Breakfast cereal. Fruity Pebbles, Cheerios, Cocoa Puffs. Awesome. Okay, so vegetables. Cucumbers, lettuce, okra. <laughs> you got it. Um, SpaghettiOs, tomatoes. SpaghettiOs, my favorite vegetable. You're never wrong. <laughs> How come when we play games like this, it's really fun and silly, and I also feel like I get kind of a a sense of knowing everybody better. Am I getting to know everybody here better? I think so, because I think it it opens a doorway into their psyche and what they think about and what they love and what's on their mind, right? Right. Like, Lucas's first cereal that you thought of was Fruity Pebbles, and that got me thinking... I love Fruity Pebbles. I wonder if if I went to Lucas T's house, I could find Fruity Pebbles. And then, Nina, you think of SpaghettiOs as a vegetable is a really, like, I I think that's pretty cool. I love SpaghettiOs. Right? I haven't had SpaghettiOs in six years. (laughs) (laughs) But it's something in your brain that said, you know, that's a food. What would you say to the people who maybe want to start and try improv but are afraid of freezing up and not being funny if they're doing it in a comedy setting? Usually if you're stuck, it's because you, you're you starting to think about things. You're starting to like allow things to kind of rattle around in your brain. And when that starts to happen, then you start trying to come up with like the right answer or the perfect solution kind of thing. And once you start thinking, then the right solution never comes. But the art of improv is to just not think, to just react honestly. And that's always going to be the best way to respond is just reacting honestly. So like here we are doing this and because of the rules, yes, and, and go ahead and be the expert, even though you may not know, I think we could get better and better. It's pretty fun. What do you guys think of doing it? Yeah. I think it is a very good way to help warm our minds up and engage with each other. Going back, one of the last things that I like to emphasize as far as that very first rule of improv being positive, saying yes and, it's very liberating to be positive. Sometimes whenever you watch some really bad improv, that's when like things start getting a little negative or there seems to be people disagreeing or they start to have like little arguments. And that improv, you can only really just take a little bit of it. But when you practice at being positive, you recognize how that moves everything forward. Your career right now is mostly just being a son, a daughter, a child, right? And your parents might come in and be like, hey, I need you to do your chores. And then you say, I don't want to do that, right? It slows the whole scene down. But if you're positive and you say yes and, things start moving along a lot quicker. You can get back to that video game or get back to that phone call with your friend and those type of things. So I think really the application of saying yes and and agreeing to what's happening around you can be pretty liberating and can be a pretty positive thing. That's Doug Montoya from the Box ABQ Theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico, teaching us about how improv can help us be better friends and community members. We don't always have to say yes and to an offer or a statement in every conversation, but sometimes Being willing to listen to others and meet them where they are is so important to staying connected. 
speaking of staying connected, we're going to learn about some ancient indigenous games that did exactly what we've been doing with Doug Montoya. They built trust, community, and conversation, and an atmosphere of positivity. Stick with us. This is the Children's Hour. We're all part of a great big team. Some of us build and some knock down Others grow vegetables in the ground Some cook meals and some deliver Some fix the heat so we don't shiver Some look for answers so they'll know And others take you where you want to go Some sell food to fill your fridge Some take money to cross the bridge Everyone is important If you know what I mean we can make it happen, we're part of a great big team. Some people write and others sell, some you go to to make you well. Some volunteer and coach the team, and others keep your school so clean. Some drive the bus and others teach, some paint houses and others preach. Some protect both you and me, and some stay home to raise a family. Everyone is important, if you know what I mean We can make it happen, we're part of a great big team There are those who entertain, some make up computer games Some fix roads and fix your cars, some pump the gas so you'll go far Some bring you letters every day some clean the pool so you can play Some make things like bikes and toys And some make clothes for girls and boys Everyone is important If you know what I mean We can make it happen We're part of a great big team Some catch dogs and bugs and mice Some keep lawns and gardens nice Some run countries, some run towns And some are jugglers, some are clowns First base, second base, third base too The one on the bench, that it might be you You may not hit, but just the same It takes the whole team to win the game Everyone is important If you know what I mean We can make it happen we're part of a great big team Everyone is important If you know what I mean We can make it happen We're part of a great big team Part of a great big team Part of a great big team And I hate to have to say There's a bunch of us On every corner Of any town in the USA We all got our problems We all pay our dues So if you're thinking No one understands I got news
What's the matter with the team? The team's all right. What's the matter with the team? The team's all right. Well, who said so? Everybody. Well, who said so? Everybody. Well, who is everybody? Rocky High. Well, who's everybody? Rocky High. Rock, 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 Rocky High. Yay, team. What's the matter with the team? The team's all right. What's the matter with the team? The team's all right. Well, who said so? Everybody. Well, who said so? Everybody. Well, who's everybody? Rocky High. Well, who's everybody? Rocky High. Rock, 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 Rocky High. Yay, team! That's the one and only Ella Jenkins from Songs, Rhythm, and Chants for the Dance. Jack Ingram before that from Live at Billy Bob's in Texas. And Danny Quinn brought us Teamwork. That's from a collection called Someone Else's Shoes, the Best Foot Forward Children's Music Series. You're listening to the Children's Hour. I'm Katie Stone. Today is the fourth and final episode of our four-part radio series, Communication Nation. This series is exploring various forms of communication through languages, verbal abilities, media, and community building. And that's where we're at today, where we're thinking about teamwork and how we pull ourselves together to work together to make something bigger than what we could do if we were just by ourselves. This entire project comes with curriculum so that it can be used in the classroom. And this time we've made short little podcasts of each one of our interview segments so that teachers have more time to use the whole series. You can find it all at childrenshour.org. Look for Communication Nation. One of the reasons we made this series for you is because we've been noticing around us that people are really at odds with one another and we're having a hard time listening to one another and finding our common ground. But if you look around you, that common ground is everywhere. All of us really want the same things. We want to feel happy. We want to feel accepted and loved. In our communities today, we can do a huge service to the people around us just by being kind. And being kind means that we try hard to listen to one another to find that common ground. It's there. Can you find it? I think you can. You're listening to the Children's Hour. Kids Public Radio. We'll be right back. Users at tokenibis.org donate to the Children's Hour every week without spending a dime. You can learn more at tokenibis.org. Thanks to the Outpost Performance Space in Albuquerque, New Mexico for hosting the Children's Hour. Support for the Children's Hour is provided by United Way of North Central New Mexico. Support provided by the City of Albuquerque and the Urban Enhancement Trust Fund. The Children's Hour is supported in part by New Mexico Arts, a division of the Department of Cultural Affairs, and by the National Endowment for the Arts. Only 20 minutes for recess time, you're under the playground, stand in line. Always the same kids choose the teens, it's always the end of the same, it seems. They choose their buddies, they choose their friends. They get down to the very end Always someone gets left out I had enough, I'm gonna shout I wanna play, I wanna play Don't say no, cause I won't go away I won't stop till you hear what I say You gotta let me in, cause I wanna play Just cause you're bigger and stronger than me Doesn't mean you get to see how things will be just cause I'm not as good as you Doesn't mean you get to tell me what to do You ought to stand here in my shoes See how it feels when it happens to you It could happen to you, you never can tell I had enough, I'm gonna yell I wanna play, I wanna play Don't say no, cause I won't go away I won't stop till you hear what I say you Gotta let me in, cause I wanna play hey. Daddy 
says life's just not fair You're bound to meet people that just don't share When you meet someone tries to push you around When you know what's right, stand your ground We're only talking about playing a game Leaving someone out is just a dirty shame We're only talking about having fun There ought to be room for everyone I wanna play, I wanna play Don't say no cause I won't go away I won't stop to you hear what I say Gotta let me in cause I wanna play I wanna play, I wanna play Don't say no cause I won't go away I won't stop to you hear what I say You gotta let me in cause I wanna play That's Bill Harley right here on the Children's Hour, and you're listening to Communication Nation, Episode 4, Together We Can, Part 3, Building Community Through Traditional Games. Did you know there are games that have been played by people of all ages for thousands of years? As humans, we invent games all the time based on our beliefs and relationships or what's lying around in the backyard. We're practicing teamwork every time we play a game with others. And when I played with my friends growing up, I think I was learning how to cooperate with other people. Some of humanity's earliest games were played with our hands. Hand games require you to work with a partner to keep the rhythm and the movements in sync. We build coordination, listening skills, and get good practice at reading nonverbal communications too. Hand clapping games can be traced back to Africa, and they've been a big part of black culture in the Americas for generations, since 1619, when enslaved Africans were first brought to this continent. They show that people can seek joy and demonstrate creativity and resilience, even under oppression. Hand games continue to evolve and change throughout each generation, location, and with the influence of digital communications. Among women and young girls, they hold a special place when, historically, sports were reserved only for boys. Hey, 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 here we go, Zudio, 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 here we go, Zudio, all night long. Here we go, Zudio, 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 here we go, Zudio, all night long. Stepping down the alley, Sally, Sally, stepping down the alley, all night long. In a minute, Dretzelina, ooh, ooh, I'm a lini, achi, kachi, gumalachi, I love you. In a minute, Dretzelina, ooh, ooh, I'm a lini, achi, kachi, gumalachi, I love you. Let's travel to Central America, where for over 3,000 years, descendants of the Olmec, including the Maya, Nahuatl-speaking peoples, and others, played a game with a rubber ball. There are many different names and variations to this game. Picture a large stone surface where two teams are racing to pass a rubber ball through a hoop made of thick stone. The hoop is high on a wall, and the players use only their hips, elbows, and knees to move the ball around. The wall is painted with murals that reflect the history and religion of the area, and when people got together to watch the games, they shared stories of their ancestors, caught up on the latest news, and chatted about their lives. People weren't just watching a competition, they were practicing being a community. Sometimes, different groups challenged each other to the game to resolve conflicts. The players had to cooperate, strategize, and trust each other to win. Teams had to respect the rules to compete, which helped build connections between people who didn't always get along. Today, youth across Central America are bringing back the sport. Many traditional sports teach us that every single person matters in a community. High in the Andes Mountains in South America, in what are now the countries of Peru, Bolivia, and others, people of the Quechua language, descendants of the Inca Empire, continue a thousands-year-old tradition where athletes can serve an important role in their communities. They are runners, called chakis, which translates roughly to the one who gives and receives. And they deliver messages across communities. 
Imagine a relay race where each runner passes a baton to the next, but instead of a baton, it's a message. And in this way, information can get to its destination quickly and accurately. Runners have to overcome elements such as high altitude and weather, and some can run for up to 200 miles a day. Shackies are central in connecting communities and people to allow for communication across long distances. We see similar traditions in indigenous communities across the Americas. The Children's Hour is based in the United States, and that's within North America. Here we play lots of games that started in other parts of the world and that were brought here through immigration. There's the Italian game of bocce, where players throw balls toward a smaller target called the polino. Players often work in teams discussing tactics and encouraging each other. Bachi teaches us how fun it is to work together and to support each other. There's also cup and ball games, and some in Latin America call it bolero. In Japan, there's a version called kendama, traditionally made of local materials, including wood. The goal is to catch or land the ball into a cup. And while it might seem like a solo game, it brings people together in play and it shows us that practicing and improving skills together can create a strong sense of community and shared achievement. Maybe you've played the game Capture the Flag. It has its roots in several cultures and variations of it have become popular worldwide. Players work together to protect their own flag while trying to capture the opponent's flag. Capture the Flag shows us the power of teamwork and that success can be exciting and rewarding. And even when we lose, failing with grace is important. Humans have been playing games with each other for thousands of years. And isn't it amazing how much we can learn from a simple game? And we don't just learn lessons. We get to feel a lot of emotions, too. The excitement of winning one day can be followed by a tough defeat the next. And no matter the results, we can choose to be kind to ourselves and to others. I think that's really special. So the next time you play a game with your friends, examine the traditions and stories behind it. You can embrace the teamwork and joy that come with playing together, and you should challenge yourself to create new games and traditions that will be passed down for generations yet to come. Keep playing, keep cooperating, and keep communicating. You heard a clip from Gay Adeg Balola's hand-driving street rhyme in that piece. And this is Suzanne Jamieson. Lots of people out there like to draw lines Without realizing how it deepens divides When they don't try to listen And they can't understand But you knew and you were only two that were all Everybody upstairs and knocking each other
the children of the world. The path of truth, the soul's deep call, the love it brings to the heart of all. Arise together in love. Arise together in humanity. If you've got a friend that's struggling with trying to find help, be there for them. You're not going to quit on that other guy, you know, because you love them. For the world, if everybody could just be kind to each other. Let's not fight in instead love. Love each other. Let's be kind. Friendship is when someone loves you for who you are and values your uniqueness. There is nothing more than love. Love is everything we have, and love is the only thing that makes any difference in our world. Each and every one of us possesses abilities unique unto ourselves. No one of us has the right to deem our abilities superior to another's. Believe, and then maybe you'll see so many amazing things I wish to be. Take a walk with me in my world of dreams. I'll show you things you could not conceive. My grandfather amazed the world by responding to violence and hatred with love and forgiveness. He thought each of us deserved to live the best life we possibly could. We all need Bapuji's lessons now, more than ever. My grandfather would be sad at the depth of anger in the world today, but he would not despair. Every single soul has something beautiful to give. In the way they laugh and love, and the luminous lives they live. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a quick note, or the smallest act of caring, which have the potential to turn a life around. Love is the answer. Love is what you need. Love opens the door and sets you free. Disability is only what you perceive. Ability is everything of what you believe. Let the world see the power of love that lives in you and me to overcome all challenges we face, and we will make this world a better place. This world's for you and me. That's the one little finger group with lots of great people. You've been listening to the Children's Hour Communication Nation Episode 4, Together We Can. This series is available in 12 short episodes for teachers to use in the classroom. You can find our activities, lesson plans, learning guides, and so much more at childrenshour.org. Look for Communication Nation. We've got time for just one more. We're going to go out with Rafi. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time for another edition of the Children's Hour. Let's play, come on, on this jazzy Django day. Let's play, oh yeah, rain or shine, we'll have some fun. Let's play, hey, hey, on this razzle-dazzle day. Yap, bop, bop, do da da boom, bam, beedle, Let's sing, come on. Let our voices really ring, let's crew, oh yeah, with this happy tapping tune, let's sing, so sweet, like the birdies tweet, tweet. You've been listening to the Children's Hour. This episode is part of a special series, Communication Nation, in which we explore various forms of communication. We hope this programming inspires kids, families, and educators to think critically celebrate our differences, and above all, be kind. This program is made possible by funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities 
and the United We Stand Connecting Through Culture Initiative, and by the New Mexico Humanities Council. There's a lot more information about Communication Nation, including our learning guides and our podcasts. Learn more at childrenshour.org. Look for Communication Nation. The Children's Hour is produced by The Children's Hour Incorporated, a New Mexico nonprofit. You can find photos, links, learn along guides, and more about us at childrenshour.org. Today's show was written and produced by me, Katie Stone, with help from Christina Stella, our senior producer. Chad Shear was our engineer at Outpost. Production help was provided by Eli Henley, Lorraine Archibald, and Amber Arnett write our learning guides. We also had help from our summer intern, Daniel. Find our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts or go to our patreon.com slash the children's hour. Or ask your smart speaker to play the children's hour podcast. Our theme music was written by C.K. Barlow. The Children's Hour is distributed by Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Network. Thanks for listening to the Children's Hour, Kids Public Radio.